<laughs> and why exactly can I not say that? Why? I know my peoples will agree with me. I know they'll agree with me. It might be 2024, but I'm still saying what I fucking think. I'm telling you. And he does need fucking kidnapping again. He's a pain in the ass. I told you he was up to no good. I said weeks ago on here, weeks ago on here, that he was up to no good. And now we've got the fucking proof. So I will say it. But I won't mention a bit about him. He should be fucking kidnapped again. But I, I, I'm going to mention that I think that he shouldn't be trusted. What I'm saying? <clears throat> Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother Actually, guys, it hasn't turned out. Well, it's all right. I mean, it's better than Yorkshire. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah. Uh, North Yorkshire, by the way. The real Yorkshire. Um, it's it's a little bit cloudy. I mean, I have been down to uh, to the doctors today. Uh, as you know, she said I'll live. I don't know for how long, uh, but the pain's gone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my morning briefings. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, she said I'd live. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, no, jokes aside, I've got no more pain now, so I'm all right. We should be all right for now. Uh, we go again and all that. Uh, I've had a shave. Uh, I've cut, uh, cut my shirt. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, good. Uh, what we're going to talk about? Oh, we're going to talk about uh, Luis Diaz's father. Yeah, he's been running his... Uh, he's been uh, interviewed... Uh, and in the interview, he clearly backed up what I've been saying, um, that he hasn't given up hope um, of um, of his son, you know, moving to Spain, basically. Um, he was asked about, um, you know, Spanish clubs, you know, previous interests and things. He says, I was not aware that there was anything positive with Madrid clubs. I heard things, but I never knew if there was anything else. With Liverpool, everything was more precise. The directive was more precise. For Lewis to get there, he hopes that he could come here, you know, uh, España, Spain. Uh, in the end, it didn't happen, but hope has not yet been lost. He's playing and the clubs are active. Uh, translated, remember, you always got it. So let's just say that. So that's my opinion on what he said. Let's just look at what Fabrizio Romano said. Mo Salah! See, some people won't know that, but some people knew it was coming. Right, so uh, Fabrizio Romano quoted him as saying, there was never anything serious with Real Madrid or Atletico. Liverpool were always more determined and concrete to sign Luis. We haven't lost our hope yet. Luis is playing well and Spanish clubs are always active in the market. Basically, he's trying to instigate a transfer uh, for his son to Barcelona. Uh, maybe another Spanish club. Uh, we've spoke about this uh, in a few videos. Um, we saw the PSG link. I don't think the PSG link was genuine. Fabrizio Romano came out and said the the, the, the link isn't genuine. For, um, PSG haven't have made an approach to the, the player, his representatives, etc. Uh, no talks, no plans as such. They're focusing on other players. That's what Romano said. Uh, and I like to listen to what he's got to say regarding um, certain transfer in, uh, matters. I think that the interest... Uh, sorry, I'm going to rephrase this. I think the links with Barcelona are genuine. I've been saying this uh, for a few weeks. Uh, and I think we have confirmation of what I said previously in that I think that they were trying to instigate a move to Barcelona. I think his dad's been, you know, allegedly the one that's... Uh, Making it no, but it's not allegedly about it. It's in the fucking interview, right? So there's that. Now I ain't got a problem with it. I don't care. I don't care. But I'm just telling you, if you're not aware, that's what his old man's had to say. Now, there was a suggestion. There was reports from coming from the homeland, their homeland, uh, a few weeks back that really started all this off, saying that for him to go to Barcelona, they'd have to pay hundred million euros to Liverpool, right? Uh, which didn't sound right to me. And you wonder, where did they get those kind of things? You know, where's that come from? Uh, that, you know, can only come from, I think, Luis Diaz's uh, camp. Let's say camp. We won't single anybody out. And someone, you know, might have said something, did say something, right, to the, to the, to the media over there, uh, and said, but it would cost 100 million euros or in excess of. And I remember saying in one of my videos, like, well, where would they get that figure from? And it could be something as you know simple as like this. You know, Luis Diaz's father is you know he's he's, he's a and he's, he's like a Del boy, isn't he? I think you know what I'm saying Rodney, uh, not Rodney, uh, well Rodney's brother, but Del Del boy Trotter, right? Derek, and um, he's a bit. You know what I mean? He's just like I don't know. He's 
he, he, he like I think he likes the you know the swagger and you know, the attention and that, and he's a bit cheeky. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that he's probably joked with someone up the ranks. You know, in, in the management at Liverpool, or someone's come up in conversation about Barcelona, and someone at someone at Liverpool's gone, yeah, they'd have to pay more than hundred million for him, though. Right? I think it's something like that. And I think the father has then probably might have done said to the media out there, well, yeah, Liverpool said they'd have to pay you know, more than hundred million. It doesn't mean you know, sometimes people take things really serious. There's no way in the world Barcelona one would pay that, and two can afford it anyway. Barcelona are you know, in real financial uh, trouble at the moment. Do you know what I mean? It makes me feel fucking great to be honest with you. When I look at my overdraft and then think about you know Barcelona, like do you know what I'm saying? So um, Luis Diaz's father, in my opinion, is trying to instigate a transfer out of Anfield uh, of his son. Right now, you might say, "Yeah, but that—that's not Luis Diaz that's doing it." Then is he? You know, he, he has the final say. If it, well, if you think he's he doesn't know what his fucking dad's up to, you're, you're deluded. Right? Come on, we know what's happening. I ain't got a problem with it, me personally. If someone wants to leave, don't mind as long as you're honest. You know. However, it can be a bit. You know, like it's not really helpful going around saying, "Oh, yeah, we we you know." You know, we haven't given up that we'll get that move to... Uh, to. But I don't think he said, you know, well, he didn't say Barcelona, but to Spain, yeah? Because that's what they'd like. And you understand it, you know, because, of, you know, their their cultures and who they are, and I ain't got a pro ain't got a problem with it, guys. Just don't fucking dick us around. I just, I still don't think it's helpful, though. I don't I don't think it's helpful. Uh, and um, they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They know what they're doing, right? So everyone in Spain... Right, we'll know about that interview today, right? They'll have known about it last night. So, you know, if Barcelona have an interest in him, which I think they do, you know, they'll be like, oh, fucking hell, telling everyone who wants to move him, maybe we should, maybe we should start looking into this and make something happen, which is why I think the PSG link came out before. So I don't, I don't think there's been anything positive from Barcelona to the Diaz camp, which is why we're then seeing the, the PSG, uh, <coughs> yeah, PSG want my son, you know, right? And that's out there, yeah? And then uh, we're seeing this interview that's put out there because I don't think they're getting their way with Barcelona, which is probably because they can't fucking afford him. That's it. That's all you need to know. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just bringing it to your attention. I said weeks ago on here, I think his dad's uh, trying to instigate something. I got shot down by some people. You can't say things like that, but I just fucking did, didn't I? You know what I'm saying? And I was right. Don't know his best, DKB. All right. And all that jazz. All right. That's it. That's all i got to say. Uh, got to go, guys. Um, if you appreciate the video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, please leave a comment. Yeah, DKB will do. Uh, and um, what day are we on? Wednesday. If you want to get me a coffee, a coffee. Yeah, and a coffee. I only go to a cheap little Spanish cafe around the corner from me. It's about £1.20, £1.40, something like that. I don't go to Starbucks or anything fancy like that. You know what I mean? I'm old school. You know what I mean? What kind of coffee do you want, sir? Like that. What the fuck? You want? I just want a fucking coffee. You know what I'm saying? At least I spell my name right on the cup, though. Mm. Oh, yeah, sorry. If you want to get me a coffee, hit the super thanks button. Uh, or if it makes you feel better and you want to get me a beer, just hit the super thanks button. But please do read the video description uh, and you'll see the list of the people that have done just that this year. And I include their name in every video. Uh, this year and I need to add a couple more and I need to give some acknowledgements they'll probably be done tomorrow morning because I uh, my morning briefing today I, I didn't have that information with me all right so uh, some of you um, have really uh, you know helped recently with that and uh, including the live stream yesterday I will be live today at three o'clock UK time this afternoon please do come along even if it's just to say how oh, you're doing dunk or uh, hello dunk or whatever uh, or even what do you fucking know chubs well I'll take it that's no problem. But I'm usually right, just saying. All right. See, I never mentioned him being kidnapped again.